Hey guys, what's up? Tim here bringing you a quick After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to create uh, some After Effects smoke um, using built-in After Effects presets and effects. And as you can see here, if I I just kind of built this real quick, if I pre-render this, you can see we got kind of the smoke flowing upwards, um, and it's completely adjustable. You know, you can apply color correction to it, but it's just creating some smoke using fractal noise. Um, in After Effects. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new composition and just name this main comp. And I have it 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, whatever amount of time you want. We're just going to be doing this real quick. Um, so first things first, I'm going to create just a background layer for contrast, just a black solid. I'm going to call it ramp and I'm going to search for the ramp effect and preset. I'm going to drag that onto my solid layer. I'm going to switch it to radial ramp and I'm going to make the start color a dark blue, almost black, and I'm going to make the end color a complete black, and I'm going to drag this point down to the middle, and this point right here to the left to make it bigger, just to give this some color. You can apply color correction, do whatever you want, um, but the main part of this tutorial is quickly showing you how to make a solid. I'm going to call it fractal noise. We're going to apply the fractal noise effects and presets. I'm going to drag that right on there. And now you see we have these clouds. Um, first things first, I'm going to drop this contrast down to about 20. And I'm going to increase this brightness maybe to about uh, 15 or so. So we kind of have this cloudy feel. Maybe drop this down to 15. And it's kind of, you know, some smeary clouds. Um, now, first things first, we want to animate this so that, because right now what we have is nothing. Nothing's moving. Um, we want to animate it so that it kind of looks like smoke. So I'm going to use an expression for the evolution. I'm going to alt click on the evolution and I'm going to type in the expression time times, uh, let's do 300. And what that's going to do is it's going, going to increase this degrees right here, 300 every second. So if I make it so it shows by seconds here, if I scrub to one second, you're going to see that the degrees is at 300. If I scrub to two seconds, you're going to see that we have it at one revolution and then 240 degrees. So that's how the time expression works, just a quick tip right there. And so now what we have is the clouds sort of evolving over time, which is going to help create our smoky effect. So next thing is to go into the transform tab and we're going to the offset, we're going to animate the offset turbulence right here and the offset turbulence is pretty much the position for this fractal noise layer. So I'm going to make a keyframe right here. I'm going to go to the beginning and make a keyframe, a regular keyframe. I'm going to press U to bring up the uh, keyframe box and I'm just going to go to the end of my composition and I am going to increase the offset turbulence to, I'm going to scrub out here, maybe about 2500 and then for the Y, I'm going to make it go upwards, maybe to about negative 1,000 around there. So what it's doing is it's animating the clouds to the right and upwards a little bit, kind of like what smoke would do. So if we ramp preview this real quick, we kind of get this nice feel right here for smoke. And we can adjust these settings later on. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm going to go into the layer mode right here, toggle switches and modes if you don't see it and I'm going to set this layer to screen. Now you're going to see the blue ramp from behind coming through. Um, what we want to do to make that come through more is decrease the opacity of this. And so now we can see we have our smoke and the blue ramp behind it. I'm going to drop this opacity down to 30. And next thing we have to do is we are going to create a bunch of masks from this layer to create smoke in different parts of um, only the parts that we specify on this layer. So I'm going to go to the Eclipse tool right here and I'm going to start drawing a bunch of circles of different variations, sizes, positions, just randomly drawing masks all over the bottom of this uh, layer and maybe maybe some at the top to make some faded smoke up here. Just random sizes, make some down here doesn't matter how many you create, the more you create, the more smoke. You determine where it goes. So now I have 32 masks. I'm going to shift click from one to the other to select them all. I'm going to press F on the keyboard 
and I am going to drag their feathering up to about 300. Now if I deselect these, you can see, if we preview this, it's kind of hard to see, maybe we'll bring the opacity up a little bit, maybe to 50. If I preview this, you can see we have some nice flowing smoke right here that looks pretty real. And um, maybe we can adjust this to 65 or so. And we can apply a curves adjustment, maybe to give this some color and some contrast. Give it a nice S shape, maybe. And go into the blue and tint this blue a little bit, because our background is blue. And if I preview this real quick, we got some nice looking smoke. And you can always add more, you can increase the opacity. I might bump this up to actually like 80 to see the smoke more visible. I'm going to go back into the RGB, and maybe I will put this right here, and bump that up a little bit, so we can see the smoke a little bit better. So let's preview that real quick. And again, this is just a quick tutorial on showing you how to get this effect. You can always speed up this smoke by going back into the fractal noise layer, and going up to this offset turbulence, and increasing going to the end of a composition where we have that keyframe and increasing the offset turbulence distance away from the comp to make this go sort of faster so if I increase that it's gonna go a little bit faster we can increase the we can go into the expression increase this maybe we can type in a thousand this is just an example um, if we go back to the beginning and we ram preview this you'll see that the smoke is going a lot faster and that gives a pretty nice effect. Um, depending on what you're trying to create, you can adjust these settings, of course. Um, but yeah, that's just a simple tutorial on how to create smoke within built-in uh, presets and effects and after effects. So uh, please uh, give me feedback on this video. Don't be afraid to give me suggestions. Um, stay tuned for more videos. I've got some World of Warcraft PvP videos coming up soon. And some more after effects tutorials. Leave suggestions below in the comments for uh, some more After Effects tutorials that I can do on things you'd like me to cover. Uh, new presets and plugins, like um, we could do uh, Twitch, optical flares, all kinds of stuff. Just leave me um, some suggestions below, and stay tuned on my channel, guys. All right, so thanks for watching. See you later.